There we go. Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee, and you're weird, and I like you. <laughs> oh, so anyway, guys, hope y'all had a good weekend. My focus page for the for the last at least for a while, and uh, so I'm a little out of breath. I just ran up and down the stairs to get coffee. So I have a couple things to show, show and tell. And the project today is, you know, what our Dilution journals look like, like this, right? This is my old, one of the older ones. I have two older ones, and my mom got me a new one. Well, this is what I did with moms, and this is what we're going to do today. We're going to do faux leather. So we're going to turn our Dilutions journal into this. Even though this one is a, a little beat up, we're going to still do it the same. The only thing that I won't be able to do on this one is I did gold edges on here. I did gold edges, and I've already got a page done, so it's already starting a little bit of, you know, puffiness. But to do the gold edges, you got to do this when it's new, okay? And even though I've done this, I know that by the time I work in this book, it's going to look like this anyway. <laughs> so it's probably not going to matter if there's gold edges. But I went ahead, because it was a brand new book, and did gold edges on it. So this is what we're going to do today is do a faux leather and I even did the insides and um, of course I won't do the inside of this one. Well maybe a little bit but uh, anyway this is uh, this is what we're going to do today first the first project and I still I want to I don't know if we'll get to it today depending on how long everything takes but um, Scrappy Pat or Pat Scrap Scrappy Pat has sent me the Sherlock Holmes coloring book Oh, look how that fits right on there. <laughs> anyway, uh, I want to start a page in here. And this will be involved, and I'll you know zoom in and we'll do the best we can because it's very detailed, <laughs> as you can see. And uh, so, yeah, so that's my, that's the page I have bookmarked for it to do that. So, anyway, the gold looks cool, yeah. And I'll tell you all the colors I used and all that. And uh, this, these are the all, here's what I used. These are the colors that I used to do the, uh, the, the cover. And uh, so, yeah, I'm using uh, all but this one, which is a dark brown. And I know I have it in Americana. Yeah, that's Americana. I think they're all Americana paints. Let me see. Look, da, da, da. Yeah, they're all Americana. Deco art, Americana. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. You love it. It's weird. <laughs> so, anyway, and I got a giveaway today. The only thing that I have that I bought over the weekend, like at Michael's. And uh, the reason that I got it was, oh, well, two reasons. Z, Zandra, <coughs> excuse me, Zandra 17, uh, her Michael's, I guess, gets things up in the East Coast, gets things quicker than we do down here. So it was like two weeks after Zandra got it into her store. But we finally got the Dilutions, Mixed Media, uh, the you know, the... Um, that whole line of mixed media in our Michaels. So y'all saw that the week before. I already had got one color. I bought the uh, the teal one. So they had a coupon for twenty percent off your total purchase. And I didn't get the re all the rest of them. I'll probably get the rest of them with another coupon maybe this week. And I have a I limit myself on how much I spend a week. You know, it goes back to those saving up for the golden mixed media. I mean, golden matte medium because <laughs> it's so expensive but anyway so I got four more colors and then I think next week I'll get the four more so I got the yellow okay I got it's I think it's orange I don't think it's actually red what's it called though is it called red where's the new color why am I not seeing a color name well, anyway, it's kind of orange, but I think there's a darker red, too. Then I got the lime green, and I got the hot pink. So next, I'll probably get the purple, the dark green, the red, and the blue. So, yeah, then I'll have them all. Again, the reason I got these the first time 
was, I mean, I heard about them and, and saw them tested. It was on Paula on Journal Artista's show. And she loves them and she says they're really different and they are different. The thing that had kept me from buying them for a while was thinking that they were shiny. And they're not. They're not gloss. I, I For some reason, I got it in my head that they were going to be glossy-like. And now I've not tried color pencil over them yet. So whether I use them color pencil over them or not, I don't know yet. I just got them, you know, got them yesterday. Hi, Lean. <clears throat> so I just got them yesterday, so I haven't really played with them very much. But, uh, yeah. So, and then if, and if Carrie or somebody or will remind me toward the, you know, middle or, you know, cup in an hour or two. I, I want to make sure and do another giveaway with some of the stuff moms gave us. This is a thank you little die. And I, the reason I picked this is the magazine she gave me had the thank you die cutting thing, you know, uh, how to use it out of the card, the uh, card making paper craft magazine the uk one mom subscribes to it and so she gets these things that she doesn't use anything die cut so i'm gonna i have the like the inspiration sheet out of the magazine and the die so i'm gonna do, get, do a giveaway with that after a while so if y'all have any questions put them on caps a lid the color is on the lid oh okay above the paint the color this says Dilutions Paint. Oh, Post Box. It is red. Okay, that is the red. Looks much more orange to me. It's called Post Box Red. You know, and I have the sprays. I love the sprays. And I need to stock up on the... I don't have any of the newest color sprays. I need to get some of the newer color sprays. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Leah. I didn't, I didn't see that there. But yeah, it's kind of... There it is. Okay, so I got Post Box Red. Uh, is that fresh lime? Fresh lime. Bubblegum pink. And see, I got these in the sprays. Lemon zest and vibrant turquoise. So I want to get the, I don't know what they're called, dark green, dark blue, purple. So I want to get the other colors um, that, you know, I don't have. And they are fun. I like them. <clears throat> Posters again. Didi, can I have a request for... Next time, I would love to see your collection of ATCs. Okay. Yes, Dasha, let me write that down. Okay. I, it has been a while. Now, i got to say, Dasha, they're older. <laughs> so, uh, look at ATCs. Okay, I wrote it down. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five books, just in books alone, not, not even including my own ATCs that I've made. But in swaps, I have four three-inch binders and one, I think it's a four-inch binder. It's this big. So they're big, thick binders of ATCs. I've shown them before, but it has been a while. Maybe we could do that, too. I don't know. We'll see how far we get today. We'll see how far we get today. You know, how, how much lollygagging I do or how many rabbit trails we have. <laughs> Uh, are these new colors? They're, they're, this is new paints, Trina, but the colors themselves, they've been around in the sprays, you know, the inks, the spray ink bottles. <clears throat> but Michael's just started getting them. It, uh, the whole Dilutions range. Well, not every single thing, Ranger. They didn't get, uh, I heard Paula say, was it Paula? Somebody said, I lose track of when I'm watching these uh, everybody's videos, but somebody said that they will not be getting the Distress Crayons, the Ranger Tim Holtz Distress Crayons. They won't be getting those in Michaels. But Xander had posted a couple weeks ago the different things that they are carrying in Michaels, the, the Dilutions paints, the, some more stamp uh stamps they even had the little color book which was 10 bucks i i couldn't do it it's like a little pack of cards about this well it's like this it's a pack of cards this big with about 10 15 pa i don't know i didn't buy it and uh but there's all a lot of dino reevely stuff in there and they have you know they restock the uh the dilutions journals they have uh the kits that's what um 
so Xandra showed on her stream. They got some of the kits in with the with the uh, you know different different things in the kits. I didn't get any of the kits either. So if you look at Xandra seventeen, she shows and talks something about those. Hi, Elk Lady. Um, you have the originals and do love. Them. Yeah, I have the the, the original like uh, post box red bubble gum ping. Those are the original colors and the sprays. Those are the sprays I have. If that's what you're asking. Um, remember, guys, this is a live chat. With, if you're watching the recording, it's a live chat with live show, live people, <laughs> and it's scrolling around, scrolling by fast. So if you have a question in the live chat, put it in caps so I know you're talking to me. There is a bit of a lag, so there's like a you know 20, 30 second lag. So by the time I see the question, that's why I like it in caps so I know you're talking to me. Uh, so thanks everybody that's watching here live and those that watch on YouTube recordings thanks everybody for being here um your michaels had the tim holtz crayons okay well for some reason i thought they were not going to sell those i heard a couple of different people online mine does not have them as of yet leah mine doesn't have them yet so um uh, now i they might come in the kit leah they might have they might come in the kit check on xandra 17's new stream and um recordings because she might know more about it than me and xandra 17 by the way does a live show on wednesday and sundays both i think at 7 30 eastern <clears throat> so check out xandra 17 okay so let's go ahead and get on with <laughs> let's get on with the uh project so the dilutions journal this is the uh Dil dilutions uh journals made by ranger this is i have two that i've been working in this one and this other one i probably i could do either one i guess i could or maybe both i won't do them both at the same time you can see how this one i've whoops let's go the right way here this one i've gone about you know i've got quite a bit in here i showed some of these last friday i think it was <clears throat> but we're just going to do one right now and what we're going to do is we're going to make it like like faux leather. So I don't know how far we'll get on the inside. This probably took me about two hours. Okay, it took me about two hours to do this. I did gold the edges. But if you're going to gold your edges, you need to do it when the book is new. Not when it's like this. <laughs> There's no golding the edges once it gets like this. Uh, not that it's going to matter because by the time I do all my mixed media in it, it gets all you know the paint gets all over the edges anyway so it's not going to stay this pretty and pristine which you know i'm not wanting it to stay that pretty and pristine it will end up looking like this and or thicker than this but i just wanted to show you uh what it looks like when it's new i've only done that one page that we did last week in it i did put a little bit of paint on the little elastic as well so this is what it looks like front and back you can still see the little ranger and I do have a coat of varnish on it and that's what makes it look like this. You do have to put the varnish on or it looks really dull and just like paint. If the varnish brings out all the colors that we're going to put. Thanks Eileen. The varnish does bring out all the colors and the varnish I use is the same that I use over my art cards and inside the journal which I did varnish the page since the last time you saw it and I finished this page. I did, um, I did not get to finish it last week, but I finished it now. I did tweet pictures, but, you know, you run out of time. <laughs> and unless I go into a full another three-hour video, I just showed pictures. So if you don't follow me, I'm InkyWell, I-N-K-I, InkyWell on Twitter and Instagram, and Dee Dee Willingham on Facebook. You can follow me um, over there. Uh, <clears throat> And, or you don't even have to follow me to see most of my artwork over there. Okay, so this is the same varnish that I use on my art cards, on my journal pages, and like in this case here. You're liking your Bible journal. Hey, uh, Vintage Rose. Yes, um, you bought one and so excited. Yes, yeah, somebody's asking me about the creative. I bought the color book Bible. Well, Hubster actually bought it for me. And uh, I have done a couple pages in it. I did finish this page. Okay, I did finish the all the birds here. You can see. 
So I finished this page. I did the uh, to, from, and date page. And I just made up my own little checkerboards around it. That's just free handing some little checkerboards. I did the roses. I did my own little um, vining around it. And so, um, yeah, I did this page. And then the only other page that I have done is the Psalm uh, 23 page right here. So I finished that one too. So there's what I've finished. And that's all I've done. <laughs> that's all I've done in it. But I really like the kind of, um, it's kind of like a plasticky. It feels like it's like not going to get ruined, you know, because it's, see, it's like a plasticky thing. So I really do like it. The edges are all pink and it smells you know, you love that new book smell. And it's, I think it's $29 on Amazon. And when I ordered it, it was free shipping because I or I got it before they, uh, you know, when they first hadn't even made them yet, I guess, or hadn't started shipping them yet. So it did take about a month. But now maybe they're sending them out right away. I don't know. So, okay. So I'll show it more as I do more things in it. Oh, what's it called? The the Bible? It's called My Creative Bible. Let me show you the box. Yeah, I, I forgot to do that last week. I was going to tell you all the ISBN. I got on Amazon. It comes in this box right here. Let's see. The ISBN. I think that's it right there. It's kind of... I think that's it right there. It just looks different than most ISBNs. 1432114875. I think. Now, you know, you can try it. If not, just put it, whoops, sorry guys. If Just put in My Creative Bible. It looks like this. There's a couple different new color book Bibles out, and they don't show a lot of pictures much on the inside. This one has 365 um, different things to color in it, and it's a cream color. It's a cream color paper, and then the, the line, there's lined uh, margins. So, um, I don't know what the other one looks like. I think Paula got the other one. There's another one. So anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much all I can say about it so far. Okay. So, but thanks for asking because I would have forgot to show it. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and get started on decorating. Oh, I wanted to show you the inside. So on the inside, sip, sip of coffee here. So on the inside, I did fancy it up a bit too. Okay, I did paint this. I did paint the covered. Again, let me show you what it looks like. Well, I've already, I covered this one. I forgot I covered this one. Um, so you can see I, I won't be able to do, well, let me see the other one. What did I do on the other one? Let's see on this one. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Maybe I should do this one. Okay, so mom... Okay, so mom just messaged me. She might be watching. Uh, she, when she, I got that Bible when she was here and she liked it. She's going to, she ordered herself one and she just messaged me. She got her Bible at three, is in three days, no shipping charge. So again, I didn't get charged shipping on mine either because it's new, I guess. And uh, so, yeah, mom got hers, <laughs> says three days. So, you know, there you go. All right, so this, I think I'll go to the other one to cover because this is, I've already done stuff in this. I'm not sure I'll have time to do all this though anyway, but we'll, we'll go to this one first because I can do the inside like I did this one if we have time. Whereas this one, I've already got stuff on it, right? Okay, so... So what I did is I also did the inside also uh, var and varnished and the pocket here too. I even did the the inside here of the folder. Now I did I only did on the inside of the folder to here. I didn't go all the way down inside of it, but I think I'll probably put some kind of pretty paper on the inside. Not that it matters. I did it down far enough where you can't really see. But I made this kind of look like a leathery look as well. I, I didn't pay as I didn't put as much time into this and this as I did the cover. But I did do some gold on the little the little spinner tab holder closure things. <laughs> okay, Pink Poodle. And uh, not the oh, it because I think that the storage. Okay, I'm looking. I'm gonna walk to the tags. Um, okay, I didn't see any caps, so I guess you're not talking to me. I'll be the boss. 
dash that says be the boss of your Bible. Your Bible is underlined and over. Oh, yeah. No, I, I have no, that's not a problem in my world. Coloring or writing in book, any kind of book. It's, yeah. I'm a big note taker. So coloring, writing, note taking, annotating in any book is not a problem for me. I'd miss the point if somebody saw, <laughs> if somebody said something, I missed that. Okay, so what we're going to do is, again, I did here, I did the edges, and in the back, I just painted it black, and I did paint the edges the brown, but I did not varnish the back here. Okay, but I did varnish this, I did varnish that, and that's what I want to concentrate on is the cover, and maybe the edges, and maybe this. I don't know how far we'll get. And, of course, the longer I'm talking, the less work we're getting done. <laughs> and I did put a little paint on the uh, stretchy band, you know. It, I just, I don't know, I just wanted it to kind of look a little aged. Whereas, you know, they look kind of like too new when they're, when they're not. All right, so here we're going to start. Let me put, kind of put that to the side. We'll keep referring to it. So what I did is I started with... Let's go this way. I'm going to open it up. Let me take out all these papers. I put these papers in this one thinking we're going to use the other one. All the little bits. I got bits in this one. Let's move that down. All right, so I don't have anything hanging out. I am going to need some wax paper. Let me just go ahead and get a couple new sheets here. Wax paper. Sorry, it is loud. Eileen and I were just saying that writing a Bible has always been a, no, no, it is. Oh, okay. All right, Jim. Well, I mean, everybody has their uh, views on it. You don't, you know, it's uh, totally up to you. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put the wax paper behind here. And I'm going to put the wax paper under here just so that it's not like, okay, I need to prop this side up. Let me uh, let me use a couple of my dilution paint jars here to prop up this side. Okay, so it's even, so it looks even while we're working on it. Because you know, obviously, this side is flatter than this side, especially with all the bulk of the things we've put in it. Let me move BB so he doesn't get painty. <laughs> all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with. And then I just kind of stretch this out and I add paint as I go along. Now when I varnished it, what I did is I varnished the whole thing at once. Is I just took one of I took my little eraser here and while the varnish was I put this up under the like that to hold that hold up the little elastic band while the varnish was drying. Because you don't want to glue. Now I'm, I'm sure there's a way to take this out and all that. Too much trouble for me. I just propped up the <laughs> propped up the little band with an eraser. The eraser didn't stick to the varnish, and the varnish is a thin coat anyway. Just like I put on the art cards, it's not like heavy coated, you know. Um, but that will keep something like an eraser, something just to kind of prop up the band while the varnish is drying. It doesn't really much matter with the paint because you're moving a lot with the paint and, and you're getting paint on the, the band anyway. All right, so we got any questions yet? No paint on BB. That's right, Bridgeton. <laughs> hey, Z, we're just talking about you. Talking about your channel and stuff. All right, so the first thing I did... All right, let's kind of make sure we're all centered here. The first thing I did is I took russet. Now, i got to say, I'm almost out of russet. I think I might have enough um, to finish it. But I, um, yeah, and I might have another. Is this another russet? No, that's black plum. I don't want black plum. Do I have another russet? I think I have enough here. We'll pour it out, and I think we'll do okay. If not, I'll use another little bit of another darker kind of a red, red reddish color. Um, paint. So I'm going to pour this out quite a bit, you know. Again, we'll see. I can always add some water in here if I need to, like, extend it a little bit. And I use baby wipes. And uh, so I'm going to take a baby wipe. And this is how I did it to make it look non-perfect. Again, this is what the look we're going for right here. And I know it's shiny, but hey, Vicky. How you doing? We are going to do a faux leather cover on the um, 
on the uh, Dilutions Journal. Okay, thanks everybody for being here. I have a full house. If I miss saying hi to you, I'll try to catch you. Um, if you're new, I see Anne from Germany. Nice to have you. Annabelle. Let's see who else. I'm just going to quickly scan. If I miss you, I'm not, you know, we've got some couple of people with just weird numbers. Hey, Iffy, if you, uh, you know, that you can change your numbers. If um, Ustream assigned you a number, you can go in and change it. I don't know about on the devices, but on the computer. Oh, let's see. Hey, J Cats. Who else? I think I said hi to Lily Bug. Scrolling, scrolling. Hey, Packer Die. Congratulations again on being in the new art journaling magazine. Mine won't be in till this coming weekend. I asked them about it. Um, Packer Die's got an article in the new art journaling, the uh, Stamping Tin and Company, the people that make Somerset Studio, the art journaling magazine. Our Packer Die is in that, and I will be showing it when I buy it. I'll show it here on stream too. Pat Van. Who else did I miss? Oh, hey, Rain. Sand pads, scrappy pads. Scrolling. Hey, Lisa. Good to see you. And if I missed you, thanks everybody for being here. Okay, so again, this is where we're heading. All right. Faux, jur uh, faux leather on the Dilutions Journal. All right, so what I did is I just took, and I've done these faux leather techniques before on books, but it's been a while. And so I kind of had to re- think the colors and the combinations again um, but I think it turned out okay there's probably some other combinations you can do the same but you don't want to paint it you want to take the reason I use a baby wipe one it's damp the dampness helps spread the paint and you don't you I guess you could use a brush if that's if I, if I was going to do it without a baby wipe I'd even use my fingers you want it not perfect that's the trick to making it look like leather. If you paint it on, and I'm not saying there's no way to paint it on. Don't email me. I'm just, <laughs> it's going to be a lot easier if you don't do it so perfect. So just grab you, and I'm just going to kind of put this right over here. So you see me going over here. I'm just grabbing more paint. And I'm just kind of, if you do it, you're going to cover the whole thing with this initial color. But do it in like random, uh, random, like this because when you go back to add another bit to it or keep blending it out it's not perfect you don't want it perfect you want it all messy like this okay so if you're an up a, a person that think oh I can't do that you can do this <laughs> okay now I am trying to kind of get down in the crevices of the you know it's got a bendy spine here so I'm putting a little thicker on the spine the spine it doesn't really much matter as long as you get it down there in the crevices which that's what I'm doing here okay but then just kind of keep moving around moving all over okay and this is russet all right okay this this is going to start bugging me I got too much wax paper and it's kind of crinkly too much too much crinkly I just don't want to you know, I don't want to uh, glue the pages together with paint. And again, I kind of just, you can do it now or at any stage. Get a little on the uh, band there. There's nothing neat about this. Nothing neat. Stretch the band, get a little bit more color. And because the baby wipe is wet, it's like making the paint move around. Gives you light areas, dark areas. So you're going to end up covering the whole thing. And I enjoyed this process. I took my time and, you know, just kind of, I don't know. <laughs> I just enjoyed the whole process. <clears throat> okay. And this cover's already got paint chips and stuff on it. So that'll probably make the leathery look more distressed even. But you're eventually getting to the th whole cover with the russet, okay? And just kind of going all, you know, some areas darker, some lighter. I go along the edges. But make sure that you don't do like this. Don't leave an edge like that. You know, don't do that. If you're going along the edge and all, make sure that you take the baby wipe and kind of blend it out so you don't have any, you don't want anything harsh edges like painted, like brush painted. 
you want it all real modeled looking and see where the, some of the distress or some paint on there if that chips off you know it's going to look distressed because this is already distressed all right so i'm just going to keep on going around here i'm just dabbing more paint on here And just kind of imagine what an old leather book would look like. All right, kind of like that. So you can see how I've left some light areas. It's not solid. It's not solid. <laughs> okay, I'll try to keep looking up for questions if y'all have any. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Yeah, Jean's on at four. There's the link to Jean. Everybody asks about you, Jean. <laughs> I, I need what, what's Jean's link? I guess maybe they can't find you because they're they, they're music. It's musical scrapper and music scrap. I you have a little bit different name on YouTube than you stream, but yeah, Jean's are Jean's a real inspiration to all of us. And I'm not going to get into all that why now, but she is. Pepper died. Let's see. Thanks, Vicky. Looks good already. Yeah. All right. So the next thing now, and it, and again, I don't know that you have to have all these colors I'm using. I just like the variety in all the colors. All right. So then the next thing I took, and I'm not drying it right at this stage. Now, if it's real wet, you might want to dry it a little bit. Just take your heat gun and hit it just a little bit. The next color I used was Oxblood. Okay, it is a little, if you can't find oxblood, then get your, um, what's the next color closest to it? It's uh, like a sienna. Let's see where I got another one up here. Um, yeah. Um, heritage brick. What's the other one I got up here? Any of these kind of orange. Persimmon's a little more orange, but if you add a little brown to it. So it just kind of, you know, it's kind of a red-orange just a little bit oranger than this. But again, try, you know, I'll show you what it looks like and compared to russet. Just so you can kind of see. It's more, a little bit orangey, you know. So if you don't have the exact color called Oxblood, and all these are Americana paints, um, then use something similar. Because all leather is going to be a little bit different colors, but I just, I'm showing you what I did. The varnish cam you can get at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. It's Delta Ceram Coat at Gloss Exterior Interior Varnish. And it's like $10 for a bottle, but if you use a 40 or 50% off coupon, you can get it for five or six, and it lasts a long, long time. Long, it goes a long way, okay? All right, so I'm just going to use the same bit of baby. Now, when the baby wipe starts getting little pills and picking off, you know, then get a new baby wipe. Get Pull another one out of your box. But until then, you know. All right, so now I'm going to kind of do the same thing. Now what I'm doing is in the lighter areas, okay, the areas that didn't get completely covered with the brown, now I'm going to go in there and just add a little of the oranger color, okay? <clears throat> and I'm just kind of spacing it around, you know kind of in the lighter areas and I, and I really you know take your time and kind of blend it in and you know enjoy the process <laughs> so again it's it's just really getting rid of the cardboard of the journal by doing this you know getting some other colors in there and having them non-perfect is the trick you know, just kind of going all over the place. Go back and forth. Go around, you know. Don't have it. Have it as, like, non-perfect as you can. So, here you can see the difference. Maybe this need a little bit more right in here. You can see um, the difference between the two there. Okay? And all I really kind of wanted to do was cover up. Let me check my spine there. I want to make sure I got it in the crevice of the, yeah, folds. Because, you know, this spine has little, like, waves to make it bendy. Okay. All right. So, you know what? I'm going to take this. I'm going to not worry about if it gets stuck. Because I'm going to have to turn this back and forth. And the crinkling's going to get to me. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to come over on this side now. And, just, and, again, this one's already got some paint all over it. So, 
I'm not sure how well this will cover where I've got it all painty, but it'll still make it look very distressed. So I'm not I'm not distressing over it. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so I'm just kind of going in all the areas you can see that didn't get covered with the dark brown and just kind of adding some of the it's called ox blood. It's kind of an orange orange color. Yeah. Hey Pam, anybody else I might have missed? So, and thanks Vicki for asking about mom on Twitter. They got home safe and sound. Picked up uh, their little puppy, their little palm from the, I, I say at the kennel, it, no, no, no. It's spring vacation, spring break. I think, what'd she call it? I, mom said. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. And they RV a lot. So when they RV, they take her with them. She loves to travel. And so when they get the suitcase out and she gets an inkling that she ain't going with them, she's not a happy dog. <laughs> okay, so there's the orange. Now, I, I did not, let me turn it over. Because in the other one, y'all know, I did this. I might as well go ahead and do this because um, I have all the, the, uh, the, the rest of my russet out here. Let me get another big wet. So let me just go ahead. Uh, now, when I go to varnish, I'll only be able to varnish the outside because I'll have to lay it down to dry. I can't varnish both sides at the same time. So you do have to varnish one side, let it dry, you know, the inside and outside. Here, let me show you this again. Here's the where we're heading. And then the inside. See how I did the inside here? I, this is varnished as well. I won't varnish the inside of this because I'll be varnishing this. And I won't be able to lay it out, you know, because obviously you have to let varnish not touch anything. But I'll go ahead and do as much of this as I can. Um, which is asking again, I figured you might. Yeah, they did get home safe. Thanks, Vicki. Okay, so this is where we're heading. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the exact same thing. All right, now let me move your weird because I don't want my calendar to get all painty since I moved the, I don't care about my desk. But All right, so, and it's going to look off because this side's puffier, you know, like that. So it's going to look like this is much bigger than this when in actuality it's just that that one's closer you know. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of the russet. And what I did is I just took the baby white. Now this, I, I used another color on here as well, but you can use whatever color you want your, I just wanted to get rid of that bright red. I didn't care if it was brown or a toned down red. I think I used a cranberry wine on it. But whatever color you, I'll show you when I get to that point. Uh, of adding another color on here. I just want to get rid of the bright red. Uh, see the difference here? The bright red of the of the uh, binding. I just wanted to get rid of that because I didn't want it bright red. Okay, so again, it takes a little scrubbing on the spine there. But I'm just taking, again, I'm just going to do the same type of thing. Now it's going to be a little bit different look. This is a little bit different fat material fabric. It's a little bit different paper as is the the uh, envelope. So if, it, if all three things, the cover, the envelope, and this do not look exactly the same, don't freak out. Just, you know, work it. Work it, people. <laughs> all right. So you can see I'm just going to do that. Let me, I'm, I am going to have to get out a little bit more russet because I'm not going to have enough for the rest of this. So out some more. I, I need to replace my russet. It's a great brown. All right. So again, I'm going to get in all the crevices. And then what I did do is inside the envelope here, I went ahead and just kind of worked in there too. Now you might have to get a brush to get way down here in the crevice because your finger is probably not going to fit down in there. So if not, you know, just use a brush to get right, right down in that little uh, crevice area. And I wasn't too concerned. I just wanted it non-manila. 
okay I didn't really care about you know doing layers of paint in here that's just me because uh, it's not showing you know and then I go around all the edges too, front and back I go around all the the little bit of cardboard that shows right I know you're busy but are you using a webcam stylus camera to uh, I it's a um, it's a Logitech hang on I got the number written down there's two Logitechs that most of us use I use a Logitech C930 E HD now people always go well why isn't it HD you stream unless you're paying you stream you're not going to get HD we have a high resolution back but we don't have like the HD quality that my, this camera is an HD camera and if I just go right to YouTube if I use it just like a, a Google Hangout or something it's HD but on Ustream to be able to do my three hour videos and upload them in 15 minutes <laughs> um, I, I, you give up a little bit of the quality unless you're a paying customer okay um, but it's a good camera the other girls like Jean I think has the C20 something C20 now the difference I'll just take while I'm doing this I'll give you a little sidebar here the difference is the the one I have has better quality for widescreen the one that Jean has and a few of the others has light lock okay Hubster's already said well we need to get you another camera with the light lock and the good wide so there's there's some other cameras out there but uh, anyway I went with the one that had the better quality widescreen that was just me and uh, there's all kinds of reviews on the two if you go on YouTube yeah if you go on YouTube you'll see uh, there's a guy that compared the C920 yeah it's HD as well okay and and you compare it to what I have which is the C930E okay they have each have their own better you know there's things that are better about each one okay so you just have to kind of you know check that out but there's a guy that's done a comparison if you put in both those webcam so put in webcam comparison and those two numbers you'll probably be able to um, find him I don't have it handy but you know you can find him and see the comparison that he did with both those two cameras and they're both Logitech I should have did I say that they're Logitech okay so hey buff all right so I'm almost done using up all my uh, russet here so let me use it some up here on the inside and again I just went down far enough in the pocket there just to kind of you can see I'm not neat about this guys <laughs> you know I'm just going oh, did I get, oh I gotta get a little bit more russet out because I didn't get in there so let's see here just a little bit more Okay, so I can get on the inside here and I do have to go around the edges so whether you do the inside and the outside or just the outside which is what I'm trying to concentrate on today but hey you know <laughs> so I'll get down in there and Miss Jean could actually do this project now now that she's not afraid to get paint on her hands <laughs> hi Sherry <laughs> okay so there we go and there's I mean you know these are the two your two Logitechs that are you know cost probably I think mine was 125 I think the the other one that I think the one Jean has around a hundred you know they're not they're not really that expensive compared to you know like a big fancy camera <laughs> you know which I have some of those too I mean I do have a nice um, camcorder that I could use for doing YouTube videos if I was just uploading doing the video uploading it to my computer then uploading it to YouTube but a three hour video you know that's way too much I don't have that much time <laughs> just don't have the time to edit and upload three hour videos when they take hours and hours and hours you stream I can just do it live and upload it in 15 minutes if I did not have let me just say it this way 
the other option I would have is just doing um, live right onto YouTube with no editing, and that's what else I would do. Just live and you know straight onto YouTube, no editing, no upload time. It goes directly to YouTube because it's the same as this, you know, no uh, no editing. <laughs> there's no editing here, people. It is it is what it is. So if you're watching this on YouTube, there's is is it. <laughs> There's no editing. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So Sherry said the 920 is at Amazon for like $70. Hey, okay, Carrie. Um, I think when I got my, this one, probably close to a couple years ago, at least two years ago. I think I had the 920 before that. And then I got this one and it was, because uh, I still have the other one too. I don't know. It's around here somewhere. Anyway, I think I paid 125 for it a couple of years ago. And it's probably even cheaper now. So, and they're, you know, the next step up one I think I saw was 400 and something. Thanks. Thanks, Vicki. Yeah. All right. So there you go. You can kind of see. And it, it looks like a hot mess, you know. Now let me go ahead and get a little, got to get out a little bit more paint because I got to do the other edges. <clears throat> Just a little bit. I want to do the edges around here, you know, around this side too. So if you have any questions, put them in caps and ask away. All right, so I'm not going to worry about doing this now. I'll paint, probably end up painting this black like I did in the other one. But I want to do the edge right there, okay? I want to go right along the edge where the, the cover is. All right, and just get some brown there. And again, I'll paint this black later, all right? It's pretty, it's not wet enough to make it stick, I don't think. All right. So again, now the next layer, uh, the second layer, just like we did the second layer here, is the ox blood or some kind of a, you know, an orange brown. There's like 10 different ones. You know, there's, <laughs> there's a ton of different Americana orangey browny colors. Um, so whichever one you have or can get available. People, I did live stream with my phone in our laptop chat. People, there's no chat feature. Um, okay, so I don't know about doing using my your phone at, in a live uh, you stream. I mean, a live uh, YouTube and using the phone and having. I think you can because I think I have. I know somebody that does that. Uses their phone in a uh, like a hangout. But I don't know the particulars of it because I've never hosted one. I've only visited other people's um, live shows on YouTube through Google Hangout. So, yeah. Okay. And I've used my camera, not my phone. Okay, so I'm just, uh, again, just kind of filling in the areas you can kind of see. You can see them here where I didn't get a lot of the brown. And I'm just putting the orange color in. I don't know if this is anything anybody's going to want to try, but I just did mine over the weekend, so I said, hey, hey, ho, ho. <laughs> let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and do another one so that everybody can see how I did it. There was no chat, okay. Yeah, I think you can't, I think there's a way to use your phone and a chat but you're not chatting on your phone anyway. You're chatting on the, you're, well, I should say, if you're, if you're the one doing the videoing, you, well, I don't want to, I don't know. You'll have to look at it. I know people use their phone and do Google Hangouts. So, and there's a chat. Now, whether they can type, I don't know. I don't know if they can actually type when they're uh, in doing it, but... You might have to have a couple things open. You might have to use your computer and your phone. I don't know. So, all right. So there we go. I'm just doing the same thing. Just kind of making it look. And you can see there's been some paint smears here. Some, you know, different things. And I'm just kind of just going over it. Going with it. Because this one's not new. Can you a little bit more? Just a little bit more. You'll try it, Terry? Oh, good. Just a little bit more for the flap here. And again, I'm, you know, 
can throw a little bit in here just to give it a little variety, but you're not going to see in there. You might notice it if it was pure manila, like the manila folder color. So that's why I wanted to get in there, but I'm not really worried about varnishing in here, okay, or anything like that. All right. Oh, you're doing it with me <laughs> on the Journal You Got Friday? Different colors, but like it so far. Okay, good. All right, so again, back up here on the top flap, I'm just going to add a little bit of the orange. Now, I'm going to paint these gold eventually. All right, but you can paint you can paint them black or, you know, leave them brown. Paint them dark brown. You know, you see the ones that are dark brown, but I painted mine gold to make it a little fancier. All right. We need just a little bit of the orange in the spine here. Just a little, just to add, make it a little variety, not so, you know, perfect. There we go. All right, right along that edge there. And if you can't get in those little crevices of the folder, use a brush to get in those crevices. But, uh, you know, you want to keep it very non-brush strokey, all right? <laughs> all right, I'm going to have to get some more baby wipes out now. All righty. I am going to go ahead and hit this with the heat gun because I want to turn it over. And I know it doesn't, I don't care if it gets on here, but I don't want things sticking. So I'm just going to dry this inside real, real quick. Hey, Noah. Anybody else coming in? All right, so I just want to dry this so it doesn't stick to the paper on my desk. Thanks for getting up early, Ella, and everybody else, like on the West Coast, or, you know, it's uh, 9.45 here on the East Coast, and I stream every Monday and usually at least one time during the week. But I usually start at 9 a.m., unless it's some special something going on, but 9 a.m. Eastern. Okay, I think that's good enough. It's not like 100% dry, but I just want it so it doesn't uh, stick. I can't even find the switch anymore. <laughs> Bless its heart. Thanks, old as Methuselah. All right, so now I'm going to turn it back over. Let's go back to the other side. All right, so this is where we're heading. This is what we got so far. See, it's not too far off. Yes, yeah, Sherry. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Now, the next card I'm going to go is with a cranberry wine, okay? Cranberry wine is like a dark maroony, purpley kind of um, kind of color. I also add it after I get done, you know, doing the whole thing. Um, it, I'll add a little bit, some maybe of Napa Red. But I think that I'm not even sure if you really need both. Um, you might just use either one. <clears throat> okay, but I'm going to go with the cranberry wine, and it just gives it it just gives it a little bit of a you know more depth, the more colors. Okay. All right, so now let me get my fresh baby wipe here. And again, I'm not covering the whole thing. I'm just kind of... And the baby wipe is wet. That helps it to kind of move. Because if I didn't use a... If I used a... Let me just use my finger to show you. See how thick that goes on? You don't want that. You don't want that thickness. And with a baby wipe, you're just, you're just getting a very thin coat. Okay? So I'm just getting a, I'm going to do one side and see if in, draw, let it dry so you can maybe see the difference. <clears throat> so I'm just adding a little bit of the cranberry wine just to add a little bit of redness to it now. And it's very thin, very thin. I'm not, I'm not covering up those other layers. If I put it on thick, look, it's covering, completely covering. You don't want to do that. You want it very thin. It's just like a, a, a like a, glaze. It's kind of like a glaze, okay? So just kind of go in there where I think I might have missed a little bit of... Alright, so let's see if you can tell the difference. Got a little thick right there when I did my don't do this. <laughs> Alright, so can you see? Can you see the difference? I think you can. 
there's a glare right there. I'm a little bit of, I think that's a little bit of white paint in there that's coming through from the uh, scruffed up. But that's okay. All right. All right. Hey, Debbie. So there, can you see the difference now between adding the cranberry wine and not? I think you can. And again, as I'm working, I've been, I've just been kind of, you know, taking a little bit of the, you know, your baby wipe and just kind of going along the elastic because I ain't going through all the trouble taking that baby out, even if you could. I guess you could, but yeah. All right. So there's the difference between the two. Now let me do the other side. Move the heat gun so I can slide her over a little. Okay, and again, I'm just going to kind of very lightly because I don't want to lose those colors underneath. Too much right there. So you start to see it looking very... And if you're just joining us, this is where we're headed, Debbie or anybody else. We're heading to this faux leather look. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Again, right here, there's some white paint coming through from the original. So I don't know if I can scrub that out or I just might have to paint over that uh, later. Let me put a little thicker bit coat of paint where that white's coming through. I'll go back over it with the red in a second. There's some whites creeping through. It's on some leftover paint from the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and turn this over. And again, I'm going to go with the red. And I'm going to do the same thing. And again, you're going to get a little bit different look on the paper and on the file folder paper because there are three different kinds of paper, if you will. So it's going to, they're all not going to look exactly the same, even though you might be doing the exact same technique on each one because the property of the manila folder, this cardboard is different than the cover, but you can get it to look similar. And that's all I cared about. You don't even have to do the inside. Okay. You don't even have to do the inside if you don't want, but and you're just kind of rubbing it in. Kind of like that. Yeah, the cranberry, yeah. It, it does add a, a richness. And again, if you don't have, what did I say it was? Cranberry wine. There's a couple other colors that are very similar. Uh, maroon colors that are very similar to this. And look, I got to say, it looks more purple on camera. Okay, it's not that purple in real life. It's more a little bit less, it's a little bit more maroon than that. But, uh, you know, if you're not sure, you can test it out on, do all the steps on a piece of, uh, you know, something else to test it out to see what kind of results you get. But, you know, I spent about two hours doing the whole thing and that included the varnishing of it, one side. Then I had to wait for the, other, the one side to dry before I could turn it over and varnish, you know, the inside. But so something like that. And, you know, you can be particular. You can go around your edges down here, add a little bit more, you know, around the edges if you want. All right. So let's see. Did I get the top there? Let me get a little bit more right around the thing right there. All right. Oh, and a little bit more right along the top. All right. So let me dry this now. At least set it a little bit dry. And this side looks bigger just because it's thicker and closer to the camera. But you can see they're the same size. Thanks, Iffy. Thanks, Vicky. I'll show you the inside of the other one, finished one in a second. <laughs> well, I've done other books. Um, it takes a little bit, if you, you have an old book 
it takes a little more work because the paint seeps in but I wouldn't recommend uh, you know you could put a coat of like say just some brown paint or something solid first if you wanted to then on after that completely soaked into like a cloth book an old vintage cloth book because that first layer of paint is going to like suck be sucked into the cloth of an old vintage book but old vintage books are fun to do this too now I'm looking around see if I got one handy um, Okay, it looks like I might have one, but I'd have to get a step stool to get up there. So, uh, but you can do it on an old vintage book, or if you even have a chipboard book, um, you could probably do it on a chip, like the new mic here. And maybe I should try it on this. Maybe I should try. Well, I don't know if I have enough russet paint. My chipboard book that I just bought at Michael's that I showed y'all last week that would probably be good too but again that first layer it's going to get you know the paint will suck into it so you gotta you know take that into consideration um yeah so that's what i did there okay so now i'm gonna oh let me show you the inside of this one so here's the inside of this one and again it's been varnished so you can see the difference well it's got a shine to it but this is where we're heading Okay, do you see the gold there? Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> okay. All right, so then the next color that I used was the, um, this is Royal Ruby Metallic, okay? If you don't have Royal Ruby, it's like a copper color, okay? It's kind of like, a, it looks, in real life, it looks like a copper penny. All right, there's other colors of copper. This one just seems to have a little bit of red in it, but if you can't find royal ruby, then the, just use a copper color. Okay, it's like the color in, in, in when I'm looking at it here you know, on camera, it looks a little different. But when I'm looking at it here, it's like a penny. It looks like the color of a penny. Thanks, Eileen. All right, so now that's what we're going to do next. All right. Okay, so I'm going to put that out. And it's all the same process. Now, I do like, again, if you don't have to, don't worry about, let me turn it over. Don't worry about if you're thinking, let me prop this up again with some Dilusions paint pots. So make it, there we go. You don't have to do the whole thing with the copper, and then you're thinking, oh, but it looks so shiny. I lost my bit of copper. Oh, there it is. It looks so shiny where the copper is, and no shine where the other isn't, isn't where there is no copper. But that's not going to matter because you're going to put gloss varnish. So you don't have to worry about, oh, look, it's shiny right there and not shiny right there. It's because you're going to have uh, the varnish over it that it's all going to be shiny. But here, you just want a little bit of, you know, go different ways with it. You know, don't just keep going like one way so it looks like, you know, you want to kind of make it, you know. And it's very thin coat, so it dries. I mean, it soaks in and dries almost immediately because it's a very thin, very thin, blended out coat, right? So I'm just putting it here and there, and it, and don't get thrown off that that's shiny. You're going, oh my gosh, it's shiny here, and it looks like crap. No. <laughs> when you get the varnish on, look. See how the whole thing is shiny, but you can still see a little bit of the copper coming through. See? I hope, because it's varnished, obviously, it's hard to kind of see. All right, so don't freak out. Thanks, thanks everybody. All right, so just kind of, kind of get it here and there. And again, I'm not sure if I have enough paint in that russet color because I do like a dark. I could use a different dark brown probably uh, for the cover on the, uh, you know, the Michael's chipboard book or any chipboard book actually. This is just a little bit different. I'm not sure how much different it is from other chipboard. You know, just because it's yellow, you know, I don't know how different it is from the other. All right, so you see how that just kind of 
Okay, I'm just kind of doing it here and there. All right, now I'm going to go on the side. Again, same thing, just kind of getting some, it's going to give it a glow. It's just going to give it a little bit of a glow underneath the uh, varnish when you get to that point. <clears throat> You're the boss of your shine. <laughs> I like that. Embrace the shine. You're the boss of your shine. Good one, Vicky and, and uh, Mac. <laughs> yeah. Embrace the shine. Okay, and I've really got out way too much copper right there because you don't need that much. And then when you go over the Ranger word, you can see it pop, kind of pop out a little bit. All right, so there we go. All right, so see how it's non, it's not perfect. You just kind of want it a little bit like everywhere. All right. All right, so let me go ahead and dry that so I can turn it over and put some on the other side. <laughs> Um, I don't know, Wayne. I guess I would just probably paint it all a brown. You know, a, a nice, just a brown. Maybe the russet color. Uh, I, she's taught, Wayne asked on an old book. And then lighter layers on top. You know, and every book's going to be a little different. But the thing is, is if you don't like it, you just paint over and keep going, right? <laughs> it's just acrylic paint. It layers. I, it's been a long time since I painted one of those books. Like that, you know, done this technique. All right, so I think that's good enough to turn it over. All right, so now I'm going to turn this over here. And again, my paint pots are just here to kind of prop up the paint so that, you know, it looks even under the camera. All right, so again, I'm going to take the copper. And do the same thing on all, you know, inside the spine here. Put a little bit. Now, this, this right here, you know, is bright red. You know, I would just tone that down with whatever color. Um, I think I used, okay, I used Napa Red. So where's my Napa Red? Because I had all my colors like, okay, so I used Napa Red, which is a little bit different than the Cranberry Wine. But I used the Napa Red on the spine in the original book here. I just put a coat of Napa Red. But if, even if that's still too red for you, you know, you can put a couple coats or even make it brown. This, like, again, I'm talking about, this is the Dilution Journal. Let me show you the other one here. It's this, see how bright red that is? It's almost like an orange red. So I wanted to get rid of that. So whether you use this color, like I just went over this with the cranberry wine, and in this one I did the Napa Red. So either one, or brown. So that's why I had the Napa Red out. Now I'm not going to use the Napa Red, so let me pull that to the side. Here, I'm done with the cranberry. Okay. All right, back to the copper. Again, I'm just going to kind of... Because I did varnish here, too. I did varnish this. Now, I won't varnish the inside today because I have to, when I varnish the outside, I have to let it dry before I can flip it over and do the inside. But it's the exact same thing. I'm doing the same process on all of it, even though this will look a little different because of the paperness of this, as opposed to the whatever kind of chipboard the dilutions are made out of. So you kind of see how that's kind of like that, all right? All right, and it's, it's going to even get toned down a little more because we have one more step after this one. All right. So again, just kind of, it, it kind of gives it an underglow under the varnish. Under the varnish. Um, no questions. Okay, I'll keep going here. And I painted the little, um, the little, tabs with the metallic emperor's gold okay it's like a real true bright gold 
And how I did that is I just actually just put a little bit out to, and put some on my finger. And this is how I painted it. I just kind of went around like that. That's how I painted the little, that's it, right there. I just took my finger and kind of went over it like that. That's how I painted the little uh, tabs. So that was the Emperor's Gold. I'll tell you all the colors we used. Um, Emperor's Gold, okay, for that, the gold, for the tabs. Then we used the, where's the, the um, I used Royal Ruby for the coppery thing, or you can, you know, as long as it looks like a copper penny. There's a couple different colors of copper that they make. This one just looks the truest to me to a copper penny. And again, it's really just an under, it's just kind of like an underpainting of copper because it just gives it a little bit more of a glow after you put the varnish on. It just kind of shows through. Okay. Those are the metallics. Then the first color that we used was russet. Okay, russet. Again, these are all Americana or deco art. These are deco art made by Americana and deco art, same. Okay, so that's russet. Then we went with oxblood. Okay, or some kind of a, you know, orangey brown, whatever you have. All right, then we did the, uh, now, then we did the, oh, no, then we did the, uh, we did the uh, cranberry wine, light, you know, spread, spread out of cranberry wine. And the Napa Red is what I used for the original. Uh, well, let me go ahead and use it here since that's what I used on the other one. Okay, the Napa Red is what I used on the covering the, the bright red spine. It's almost, you can't really probably tell on camera because the cranberry wine kind of did the same. But that's what I use just to cover the bright red cloth of the Dilusions Journal spine, okay? Then the final, let me, let me hit this with the heat gun real quick. And take your time. Get in all the little crevices and everything with the, you know, if you need to get in there with a the brush, you know, take your time around the edges of the file folder and all that. Hey, Colleen. Okay, so I think that's dry enough for me to turn it over. So then the last step of color, let me move my paints over to this side because I'm going to flip the book over to kind of prop it up here. So the last step is to add a little bit of this is bittersweet chocolate but any dark dark brown say it's like a chocolate brown this one's called bittersweet chocolate but a dark brown okay dark brown so then i'm going to take a little bit of the dark brown out and i'm not going to be using much of this so you can see where we're going here okay hang on i'm gonna froze for a second all right so you can see how we're going here so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chocolate brown and almost kind of sort of around the copper. Now I am still going to overlap. Okay, I'm still going to overlap the copper and I'm using light, light pressure. Light pressure. Okay, I'm not putting a lot of paint. Very little paint on this baby wipe. And I'm just kind of going in here and I'm just going to add a little, I'll let it set for just a second. You know, I'm just going to kind of go around just get some ch chocolate brown kind of around the copper areas. Don't let it set till it dries. Don't let it dry like this, but if you just let it set for like, you know, 15 seconds and then go back in there and start rubbing it, it's set up enough um, that it will kind of stay in those areas. Kind of see what I'm doing then? You can go both ways. I'm just kind of rubbing it in, okay? I need a new baby wipe. And, and again, the wetness of the baby wipe does help with the moving of the paint, okay? The, the wetness of the baby wipe is, is like, I won't say it's a crucial, but it does help, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to kind of start blending everything out a little bit. And again, don't forget the spine and the edges. You know, you got to kind of flip it over and turn it over. But I'm just kind of going in there and start blending, kind of blending everything out. 
are blending everything together. Kind of, see? And if you see something like, I might not like that real harsh edge right there on that copper, you know, you can kind of just give it a little bit more, you know, let the brown sit there for just a second longer. And you can get rid of the harsh edges, just like, you know, let it sit for a second and start blending it out. <clears throat> you know, and you, not anybody, no two people's, you know, modeling like this is going to look the same. You know, it's going to look different for everybody. But you kind of get the idea here. And if you think you didn't get enough copper, add a little bit more copper. But for me, the final stage was this dark brown. It kind of gave it the depth, you know, by getting that dark brown in there last. And it, and it kind of toned down the edges of the copper a little bit, like so there's no harsh edges of copper. And again, when I did the project, I took about two hours. We've been working about an hour now. So, uh, of course, by the time we get done, it might be close to two hours, you know. But I was careful to go, you know, right all around the edges on the inside too, you know. Blendy, blendy, yeah, blendy, blendy. So just kind of, you know, just looking at it and seeing where I think it might need. Don't forget to go around the, and you can, remember, you can just take your baby wipe where there's some paint on it and put the little uh, elastic inside there and just kind of run it along there. A couple of different colors to paint the, paint the uh, elastic. You like it? Thanks. Thanks, guys. So I'm just kind of going along the edges and whatever. And again, this is a used one. This this one I've used and used and used. So there's been paint chips and stuff all over the back. So you can kind of see it's got a little bit of blue paint there. And, you know, things popping through from uh, layers of already being, you know, beat up. <laughs> okay. And I just, you know, the baby wipe is damp, which helps the paint to flow. It's kind of like, you know, just gives it a little bit more, rather than just a, if you're only going to use a damp, I'd use a damp cloth, you know, thin, like a t-shirt material or something, if you don't, if you're not using baby wipes. But I think pretty much all of us have baby wipes, <laughs> you know. Um, but it's the wetness of the baby wipe that keeps the paint from, it keeps it flowing, and not locking up in like big clumps. Yeah, it does add a little bit of more texture. And you know, it just depends on how dark you want your your leather to look, you know. Maybe a little bit darker. You might want a little bit darker around the edges, you know, like it's just more worn or something. More around the edges. Then, um, you know, just got to kind of look at it and see what... Looks good to you. But take your time. You don't have to rush through. And I think somebody said they're working with me. You know, take your time. Just write down the steps and, and don't rush through. Because you want you want it to you want to be happy with it at the end. Okay. And again, I think because you can dry this quickly, you know, is we can varnish it right away because I can really hit it with the heat gun and get it nice and dry. But you, if you don't have a heat gun, if you don't have a heat gun and you can't dry this really well, I would wait overnight before you put the varnish on to make sure your acrylic paint's really 100%, you know, really dry. Okay? Make sure it's really dry before you put the varnish on. Okay, so there we go. So here's the finished one with the varnish. And you can see, there it is with uh, with no varnish. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead. Let me hit this with the heat gun because I'm going to turn it over and put some of the brown on the other side. Hey, cutie patootie. Yes, we keep the baby white people in business. And I like Huggies, non-scented. It's just a Huggy brand, non-scented. Y'all know I got that. I don't know what it was called, cucumber and something one time, and it was soapy. I don't like the soapy ones. I just like the, it's called natural, I think. Huggies Natural. 
So I'm going to take a minute to really kind of just let this dry. Thanks, Emerson. Emerson, Ember, Embers, Ember Red Rose. <laughs> We're going to varnish it too, so you'll see it. You'll see it come to life here in a minute. So, you know, again, I'm kind of rushing through, and I've worked on it for a little over an hour. And, uh, but I, I also did paint the inside of the other one. I'll show you the other one again. But it only took me a couple hours to do the whole thing, except for the varnishing on the inside. Because you have to wait for the varnish on the outside to dry before you flip it over, you know. And I'm really going to make sure this is dry. I'll hit this again with the heat gun before I varnish it. But let me flip it over and do the other side. Move my little propping up pots over there. All right, so again, we're going to do the same thing on the inside with the dark brown. Take the dark brown and just start, you know, kind of laying a, a little bit here and there out just to kind of get it here and there. And it'll, like, start to dry a little bit. Then you go back and blend it back in. Same thing over here around all the copper. Okay. And just kind of put some down, then go back and kind of blend it in. And again, it's because the baby wipe is wet, you know, that it's helping to move the paint and kind of blend it out. You might want to do some of the edges a little darker, like the leather's a little bit more worn on the edges. All right? I like somehow I picked up today. I don't know, I got some paint on there from somewhere. You see how you can kind of rub it in? I'm working with you, but you're only doing the outside now, do the inside later. Yeah. It's easier if you just do one at a time, uh, unless you want to do the edges on the inside there. Since you're doing the edges, you, you might want to go ahead and just like get the edges on the inside. But like here, look at the back, how I did this. See, I just did it along the edges there and add some more red and some more brown, you know, around the. And, and I'm not trying to do this, the cardboard. I'm just trying to get the edges where the cardboard is, you know, it's got like a quarter of an inch of the front cover. And then I, I painted this black on the other one. So I'll show you the completed thing on the inside there too. All right, so, you know, when your baby wipe starts falling apart, you know, it's time to pick up another damp, another wet one. So I'm just kind of continuously working around kind of, you know, the edges of the copper, just so I don't have a, a sharp edge of anything. That's kind of my goal here. And it's a little bit more rubbing on the folder because it's a paper folder, right? So, but I still wanted it to look like leather too. And don't forget the outside here. Something like that. Okay, like the old leather pouch. You know, rather than a manila envelope. <laughs> the chocolate makes it yummy. It does. It does. And what it does, it also tones back. That's why I didn't put the copper on last. I put the dark chocolate on last rather than the copper because um, you want to be able to tone down the edges of the copper. Like if there's a sharp edge, you want to might just want to not have it. You just want to glow to it, but you don't want to look like you've got a big wad of, of uh, copper on there, right? All right, so let me dry this. And again, if it's hard, sometimes it's right, hard to get right down there in the um, crevice of the, um, let me get a little brush here, where the book is glued to the spine. You might want to just take a little bit of paint and just cut with a brush and get right down in there. Like scrub down behind the where the book is glued. Otherwise, you'll have like a white line right there. Okay. All right, so let me go ahead and dry this. Then we'll do a giveaway before we varnish. Thanks, 
Terry. Yeah, toning down the copper, yeah. And, and again, it's only going to kind of, the shot. don't worry about the shine being in certain places. Because when you varnish it, it's all going to shine. But the copper will kind of glow through just a little bit. Now, I don't really have to worry so much about getting this side dry because I'm not going to varnish the inside. All right, so let me just kind of just put that little hook there just to kind of close that flap a little there. All right, because I can't varnish the inside while the outside is still wet. But I'm going to turn it back over. Let's move my little paint pots to this side now. Uh-oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, so let's move the pots to this side to prop it up. All right, stand up over there. All right, so, so that, I think, is all the colors and everything. So, again, I'll quickly tell you what we used. For the little um, tabs, the little circle tabs, I just used Emperor's Gold, okay? And then the copper color, I used Royal Ruby. But it looks like the color of a copper penny, so whatever kind of copper penny color. But it's these are the Dazzling Metallics by DecoArt. The people that make Americana, okay, deco art. So there's those two. Then the the base coat was russet. Then oxblood, which is kind of like an orangey, you know, whatever you got kind of close to that orangey kind of uh, brown. Then we used cranberry wine. And then we used, where's the brown? And then we used the bittersweet chocolate, which is just a dark brown. Those are the four colors we used on the cover. And then for the, the red spine, the red cloth, I just covered it up with a Napa red just to get rid of that bright, bright red. Okay, so those are the colors. All right, so now before we uh, I varnish this, uh, and here's where we're headed, right here. So you can see it's pretty close except for this one's uh, varnished, right? So you can see it's pretty close. You, I did the same exact steps, or the same exact color steps. All right, so now I want to do a quick giveaway. Let me get my thing here. Let me get my iPad so we can do uh, random.org. Where's my, let me dig out a Sharpie here. <clears throat> I give away one of the things that mom gave us for giveaways. Okay, let me go to Vicki and everybody can help. Don't put in a number yet. All right, so how it works while I'm getting random.org going, how it works is I will, uh, when I type in the word go, thanks y'all, when I type in the word go, wait for me to type in the word go, put a number between 1 and 100. Oh, I, maybe we'll look at, I don't know if we'll get to the ATCs. I don't know what y'all would rather see today. but Okay, so between 1 and 100, okay, the closest without going over, I'm going to give this little, um, this little thank you die out that mom got from um, the paper crafters, the card making paper crafting UK magazine that she subscribes to. And in the magazine was the article on how they used it. So I just went in and tore the article out so that, to give with the die. So, um, yeah, that's what our giveaway is going to be today, okay? And um, one number only. One number only. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Vicki. <laughs> yes, Vicki knows the rules of the giveaway well, which she is typing in. And I'll give you plenty of time to put in your number. When you start seeing numbers rolling by, I think you can kind of get the hint that it's time to put in your number. <laughs> and then after, after everybody puts their number in, I'll type in stop and then, um, <laughs> Uh, hey, Flint Rock. And then we'll do the random.org, which I've got it ready. It's, I haven't generated a number yet. No number yet. So, get, you know, we'll generate a new number. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> All right. 
between 1 and 100. If you put your number in before I typed go, then put it in again, <laughs> just the same number, put it in once. One number only. <laughs> I'll give everybody plenty of time. All right. So, yeah, I thought that this what mom gave us some nice things for some giveaways when she was here. I showed them last week. So, but I, I came across the article in the magazine that she gave me one of the magazines. She only brought one magazine, but a whole bunch of different things. Well, um, the, I flipped the magazine and the article that went with this. So this one must have come in this particular issue. So yeah, I thought, well, that's perfect. They can have the article on how to use, you know, some inspiration on how to use. Uh, and I think this might be the same magazine that uh, Claire and Darcy UK get published in over in uh, UK. Card making, let's see. Cardmakingandpapercraft.com is where you can find the magazine. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to type in stop. All right. So now we're going to generate a number. Ready? Let's generate a number. Here we go. Oops. Let's get it back. Generate. Four. So the closest to four without going over. If everybody went over four, we'll generate a new one. So I don't know if everybody if everybody went over four. It is the same one that Claire and Darcy UK are published in. Thanks, Jean. Okay, so let's scroll back. And I know Eileen and Vicky will help me. And uh, Janet. So... Closest to four without going over. If everybody went over four, we'll do it again. We'll generate a new number. I'm looking to. Looking, looking, looking. I'm looking. I'm not seeing, so far I'm not seeing anything under four. Who had did anybody have four? Nothing under four. Okay. So we're going to redo. Nobody had anything under four. So here we're going to generate a new number. Okay, here we go. Thanks, Jean. Thanks, everybody. Here we go. We're going to generate a new number. Ready? 99. <laughs> so whoever's the closest to 99, whoever had probably the highest number. So let's go back and see <laughs> that's the highest number. <laughs> All right, so let's see who had the highest number. Okay, I see I see a 71. So Let's see. All right. I see a 71. I see two 71s, but I see... Oh, I see an 84. I see an 84. Vin, vintage Roses Pug has 84. Vintage Rose... Yeah, Pug. Rose Pug. Vintage... What is it? Vintage Rose Pug? had 84. Now, yeah, I know. I love it when newbies win. So it seems like it happens a lot. So newbie, Vintage Rose Pug, Carrie, if you'll give her, or, or Vicki, if you'll give her my email address, then, uh, there. thanks, Jean. Email me your address, and I will send you out as the kids say, a surprise. <laughs> yeah. You won. You won. <laughs> her name's Kathy. Okay. Kathy is her name. Kathy Vintage Rose. Okay. Okay. Yay. You never win. Well, you won today. 
So, yeah, and I'll throw in a couple other things, too. So just, you know, just uh, so you know. So we'll put that on your thing there. All right. I got all the birthdays all, all taken care of for all of March. And there was a, there was a lot in my, there's a lot, there's a lot of birthdays, <laughs> but I, all the birthdays taken care of. And I still have, a, um, I was going to just send Sherry. She's not here. Is she? Oh, maybe she is. I was going to just send Sherry the paper that I got for her, but I'm going to, I'm putting together a little box for Sherry for Madam Secretary. Sherry helps so many different channels, so many different Facebook groups and people everywhere. So I'm going to put, I'm putting her together a little mini box of stuff. I don't know if she's here or not. But. Hey, Crocker 2. Yeah, Pug Kathy. <laughs> yeah, I like it. And it seems like new people win a lot. So, yeah. That's awesome. All right, so here we go now with the varnish. Now, how I do, let me move some stuff out of the way here. Now, I do not heat set the varnish. I just let it set. So that's why we're only going to be able to do one side today. Okay, we're only going to do one um, side of, we're not going to do the inside. But here's what we, oh, I keep stepping on something cold. I go, what if I'm stepping on cold as one of my baby wipes here? Okay, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, she is Madam, she's our secretary. Yeah, I don't know if she, I thought I saw her earlier, but I don't know if she's still here. Madam Secretary Sherry. I think she slipped out. Or she might not know if she was here early or not. It's uh, early for her. Okay, so here again, this is where we're heading, right? And all this is, is one thin coat of the Delta Ceram Coat Gloss Exterior Interior Varnish. You can get this at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, all the craft stores. It's like $10 a bottle. Again, use a coupon. You get it for five or six, but it lasts a long, long time. Okay, it lasts a long time. And I'm not saying this is the only varnish, but I have found that this varnish that I have used in my journal pages, here's the other journal. Oh, no, this is, this is the one that has the varnish pages in it. That they don't stick. See, these are all varnished. These are all that same varnish. The same varnish that we're getting ready to put on the outside is the same varnish that's here on the inside. Okay? The pages don't stick. However, remember, if you're going to varnish the inside of your journal pages, make sure there's no wet, uh, re-wettable, re reconstitutable, uh, any kind of um, neo colors or watercolor or anything that's going to move with water, you know, and getting wet. This is all just acrylic paint, so not, none of it's moving when I varnish it. But if you, you know, and same thing for here. This is all acrylic paint, so it's not going to move when I put varnish on it. So you got to be careful. Hey, Uli, you got to be careful when you varnish your, your journal pages not to have anything that's going to move when you put wet varnish on top. Thanks, Terry. So what I use, now when I'm varnishing my little art cards, let me grab one here. When I'm varnishing my little art cards, I just put a little dollop in the middle and I move it out all the, around the edge with my finger, okay? And it's the same varnish that I use on these, okay? But when I'm using something large like the, the journal pages or this, I'm going to use a foam brush. All right. Now you're going to have to kind of hold this up out of the way while you're varnishing. And like I said earlier, how what I did with the little strap, just so it's not sitting in varnish, is I just took a little eraser here and I just propped it up like that after I got done varnishing. I just propped up the little um, band so it's not sitting in the varnish, right? All right. But while you're varnishing, you're going to have to kind of keep it up out of the way. All right, so this is how I did it. I just put a, like a blob here and a blob there. It dries perfectly clear. It will look a little milky at first. So what I do is I just take my foam brush and I just kind of roll it around and I start getting it moving both sides. All right, get around the little, get around the little tab there. 
or the little elastic and I just start with the flat of the brush I just start getting a full coat over everything I'm not worrying about any kind and you won't get lines because you're not using a brush but first I just get a nice coat over the whole thing and you can see where you might have missed and I might need just a little bit just a little bit more here whoops just a tiny bit more you can see where if you've missed any area because it's shiny right so if you see where you might have missed something and I would recommend putting wax paper behind your pages uh, I'm, I'm being a little extra careful not to get it over the edge but I'm first just getting the whole thing completely wet with the varnish right and I can see it because I'm looking at it at an angle where I could have missed something so once I get it all completely varnished then I go back with my brush and a, one nice even swipe to kind of smooth it completely down all the way just to ensure there's no bubbles or no streaks or anything it's a very thin coat guys very thin you, you know you might want to be careful on the edges there and uh, so it's all going the same way there's no no swirls of uh, you know thick varnish anywhere it's just a nice even coat okay and that's it that's all there is to it and then again I just took my little eraser here and just kind of propped it up just so it's not sitting in not sitting in the varnish all right and then I just set it aside to draw excuse me I'll set it aside on the other table to dry all right but there you can see it all right let me move it over here out of the way and then you do the same thing on the the same thing on the inside but you have to wait I'd wait overnight Or at least you know half a day or you know a few at least give it a few hours all right so now I'm gonna go real quick and wash this out because it's still good just let me rinse it out real quick hang on because it's a water-based it's a water-based uh, put my <laughs> water-based varnish. Okay, it's not a it's not an oil-based or a um, you know anything like that. Let me get some of the excess paint off my hands here. Okay, so here we go. This is what it looks like when it's completely done. Again, I know it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So that is what it looks like and again I did varnish both this and everything else here too but you got to wait till this side dries okay and then on the back what I did is I just painted the inside black co co the cardboard black but you can see I did go along all the edges okay so that's what it looks like inside and out there's the little gold tabs. Name of the artist for this calendar. <laughs> it is, uh, what is his name? Um, Dick Daniels. The Art of Dick Daniels. Funhouse 57. Yeah. It's perfect for uh, folk camera focus. And I just like, they're fun. They make you smile, right? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, guys, that's how we did the, um, the little... Um, the dilutions jar. oh and again I did paint the um, let me move the thing I did paint the um, spine here with the metallic gold okay and what I did it with a baby wipe the same way don't get a brush on there oh well I'm not saying don't. when I say don't I'm just telling you what I I wouldn't do and how I did do it I put a little of the gold uh, uh, in the in the plate here and then with the baby wipe, the same way that I blended with my finger and a baby wipe, I just took a baby wipe with gold paint and went around all the edges. Now you can't, you have to do that when it's new. I can't do that on those old ones because they're already, and this will get beat up too. They're not going to, uh, it's not going to stay that way by the time I do, because here's the first page. Okay, and then I painted that one black. 
which I'm going to collage on. And then here's the page that I did last week, which has been varnished as well. So you can see the completed page there. Okay, so uh, in case you missed it last week, this is the um, what I did for the CAC Fantasy Art, hashtag CAC Fantasy Art. And if you put in on YouTube, CAC hashtag CAC Fantasy Art, you'll get a whole bunch of artists that participated in the Fantasy Art uh, challenge okay and uh, but I did finish it and posted it on Facebook Instagram and Twitter but here it is in person and again you see the varnish on it so you can kind of see around so there we go thanks guys and then, you know, that's all I've got in this book so far, is that. It's a little flashed out. Let me fix my camera just a little here. There we go. See it a little better there. Thanks, guys. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this book, is smaller collages that are about the same you know, size of elements as my art cards, whereas in the other ones, they have bigger elements, like, um, well, I can't show you because it's drawing over there. Good grief. Uh, but they got the bigger elements in it, okay? So, thanks. Yeah, the trees started out, I think, as bird feathers. It was just a whole bunch of bird feathers, and I just tore it to make it kind of look rounded and then turn them into trees with some branches so if you look real close you can probably see bird feathers in there there's a couple little people looking in the window so yeah so anyway guys so i think we're i'll call this recording and this particular project done so we can probably do something else, but I'm going to save this recording as a separate one. And um, yeah, any idea which of your videos I painted that journal on? Trying to find recording a, a painted. Okay, I have to be a little more specific. Which video I painted the journal? I'm not sure what part of the journal. Patty, what part of the journal? This one? I just did this one today. I did another one. Here. It's over here drawing. If you're just coming in, we just did it again. <laughs> it's draw it's over there drying. Uh the varnish is over here drying. That's why you haven't seen it, because it's not uploaded yet, Miss Patty. <laughs> yeah, I just recreated it. I recreated, I did this one yesterday and recreated it just now. So, um, a color book video. <laughs> well, I can start, let me go ahead and stop this one and I will be right back. I'm going to, I'm not going to leave you guys. But I will stop this video, stop the recording, and save this one, and uh, I'll go run get some coffee, and uh, I'll be right back for another one. So <laughs> it's all right, Beth. You just got here. All right, guys. So thanks for being here, watching us do the faux leather dilutions journal, and I will be back for another episode. So hang on. <laughs> There we go. Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee, and you're weird, and I like you. <laughs> oh, so anyway, guys, hope y'all had a good weekend. My focus page for the for the less, at least for a while, and uh, so I'm a little out of breath. I just ran up and down the stairs to get coffee. So I have a couple things to show, show and tell. And the project today is, you know, what our dilution journals look like, like this, right? This is my old, one of the older ones. I have two older ones, and my mom got me a new one. Well, this is what I did with moms, and this is what we're going to do today. We're going to do faux leather. 
so we're going to turn our dilutions journal into this even though this one is a, a little beat up we're going to still do it the same the only thing that i won't be able to do on this one is i did gold edges on here i did gold edges and i've already got a page done so it's already starting a little bit of you know puffiness but to do the gold edges you got to do this when it's new okay and even though i've done this i know that by the time i work in this book it's going to look like this anyway <laughs> so it's probably not going to matter if there's gold edges but i went ahead because it was a brand new book and did gold edges on it so this is what we're going to do today is do a faux leather and i even did the insides and um of course i won't do the inside of this one well maybe a little bit but uh, anyway, this is uh, this is what we're going to do today first, the first project. And I still, I want to, I don't know if we'll get to it today, depending on how long everything takes. But um, Scrappy Pat, or Pat Scrap, Scrappy Pat, has sent me the Sherlock Holmes coloring book. Oh, look how that fits right on there. <laughs> uh, anyway... Uh, I want to start a page in here and this will be involved and I'll you know zoom in and we'll do the best we can because it's very detailed <laughs> as you can see and uh, so yeah so that's my that's the page I have bookmarked for it to do that so anyway the gold looks cool yeah and I'll tell you all the colors I used and all that and uh, this, these are the all. Here's what I used. These are the colors that I used to do the uh, the, the cover. And uh, so, yeah, I'm using uh, all but this one, which is a dark brown. And I know I have it in Americana. Yeah, that's Americana. I think they're all Americana paints. Let me see. Look, da, da, da. yeah, they're all Americana. Deco art, Americana. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. You love it. It's weird. <laughs> so, anyway, and I got a giveaway today. The only, but I just wanted to show you uh, what it looks like when it's new. I've only done that one page that we did last week in it. I did put a little bit of paint on the little elastic as well. So, this is what it looks like front and back. Can still see the little ranger and I do have a coat of varnish on it and that's what makes it look like this you do have to put the varnish on or it looks really dull and just like paint if the varnish brings out all the colors that we're going to put thanks Eileen the varnish does bring out all the colors and the varnish I use is the same that I use over my art cards and inside the journal which I did varnish the page since the last time you saw it and I finished this page I did, um, I did not get to finish it last week, but I finished it now. I did tweet pictures, but, you know, you run out of time. <laughs> and unless I go into a full another three-hour video, I just showed pictures. So if you don't follow me, I'm InkyWell, I-N-K-I, InkyWell on Twitter and Instagram, and Dee Dee Willingham on Facebook. You can follow me um, over there. Uh, <clears throat> And or you don't even have to follow me to see most of my artwork over there. Okay, so this is the same varnish that I use on my art cards, on my journal pages, and like in this case here. You're liking your Bible journal. Hey, uh, Vintage Rose. Yes, um, you bought one and so excited. Yes, yeah, somebody's asking me about the creative. I bought the color book Bible. Well, Hubster actually bought it for me. And uh, I have done a couple pages in it. I did finish this page. Okay, I did finish the all the birds here. You can see. So I finished this page. I did the uh, to from and date page, and I just made up my own little checkerboards around it. That's just free handing some little checkerboards. I did the roses. I did my own little uh, vining around it. And so, um, yeah, I did this page. And then the only other page that I have done is the Psalm uh, 23 page right here. So I finished that one too. 
So there's what I've finished, and that's all I've done. <laughs> that's all I've done in it. But I really like the kind of, um, it's kind of like a plasticky. It feels like it's like not going to get ruined, you know, because it's, see, it's like a plasticky thing. So I really do like it. The edges are all pink, and it smells, you know, you love that new book smell. And it's, I think it's $29 on Amazon. And when I ordered it, it was free shipping because I, or, I got it before they, uh, you know, when they first hadn't even made them yet, I guess, or hadn't started shipping them yet. So it did take about a month, but now maybe they're sending them out right away. I don't know. So, okay, so I'll show it more as I do more things in it. Oh, what's it called? The, the Bible is called My Creative Bible. Let me show you up in there. And they have, you know, they restock the... Uh, the Dilusions journals, they have uh, the kits, that's what um, Xandra showed on her stream. They got some of the kits in with the, with the uh, you know, different, different things in the kits. I didn't get any of the kits either. So if you look at Xandra 17, she shows and talks something about those. Hi, Elk Lady. Um, you have the originals and do love. Yeah, I have the, the, the original like po uh, post box red bubblegum pink. Those are the original colors and the sprays. Those are the sprays I have, if that's what you're asking. Um, remember, guys, this is a live chat. With, if you're watching the recording, it's a live chat with live show, live people. <laughs> and it's scrolling around, scrolling by fast. So if you have a question in the live chat, put it in caps so I know you're talking to me. There is a bit of a lag. So there's like a, you know, 20, 30 second lag. So by the time I see the question, that's why I like it in caps. So I know you're talking to me. Uh, so thanks everybody that's watching here live and those that watch on YouTube recordings. Thanks everybody for being here. Um, your Michaels had the Tim Holtz crayons. Okay, well, for some reason, I thought they were not going to sell those. I heard a couple of different people online. Mine does not have them as of yet, Leah. Mine doesn't have them yet. So, uh, now, I, they might come in the kit, Leah. They might have, they might come in the kit. Check on Xandra 17's Ustream and um, recordings, because she might know more about it than me. And Xandra 17, by the way, does a live show on Wednesday and Sundays, both, I think, at 7.30 Eastern. <clears throat> so, check out Xandra 17. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on with, <laughs> let's get on with the uh, project. So the Dilusions Journal, this is the uh, Dil Dilusions uh, Journals made by Ranger. This is, I have two that I've been working in, this one and this other one. I probably, I could do either one, I guess. I could, or maybe both. I won't do them both at the same time. You can see how this one I've, whoops, let's go the right way here. This one I've gone about, you know, I've got quite a bit in here. I showed some of these last Friday, I think it was. <clears throat> but we're just going to do one right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it like, like faux leather. So I don't know how far we'll get on the inside. This probably took me about two hours. Okay, it took me about two hours to do this. I did gold the edges, but if you're going to gold your edges, you need to do it when the book is new. Not when it's like this. <laughs> There's no golding the edges once it gets like this. Uh, not that it's going to matter because by the time I do all my mixed media in it, it gets all, you know, the paint gets all over the edges anyway. So it's not going to stay this pretty and pristine, which, you know, I'm not wanting it to stay that pretty and pristine. It will end up looking like this and or thicker than this. The thing that I have that I bought over the weekend, like at Michael's, and... Uh, the reason that I got it was, oh, well, two reasons. Z, Zandra, <coughs> excuse me, Zandra 17, uh, her Michaels, I guess, gets things up in the East Coast, gets things quicker than we do down here. So it was like two weeks after Zandra got it into her store. But we finally got the Dilusions, Mixed Media, uh, the, you know, the... Um, that whole line of mixed media in our Michaels. So y'all saw that the week before. I already had got one color. I bought the uh, the teal one. So they had a coupon for 20% off your total purchase. And I didn't get the re all the rest of them. I'll probably get the rest of them 
with another coupon maybe this weekend. I have a, I limit myself on how much I spend a week. You know, it goes back to those saving up for the golden mix med. I mean, golden matte medium. <laughs> because it's so expensive but anyway <clears throat> so I got four more colors and then I think next week I'll get the four more so I got the yellow okay I got it's I think it's orange I don't think it's actually red what's it called though is it called red where's the color why am I not seeing a color name well, anyway, it's kind of orange, but I think there's a darker red, too. Then I got the lime green, and I got the hot pink. So next, I'll probably get the purple, the dark green, the red, and the blue. So, yeah, then I'll have them all. Again, the reason I got these the first time was, uh, I mean, I heard about them and, and saw them tested. It was on Paula on Journal Artista's show, and she loves them, and she says they're really different, and they are different. The thing that had kept me from buying them for a while was thinking that they were shiny, and they're not. They're not gloss. I, I For some reason, I got it in my head that they were going to be glossy-like, and I've not tried color pencil over them yet. So whether I use them color pencil over them or not, I don't know yet. I just got them, you know, got them yesterday. Hi, Lean. <clears throat> so I just got them yesterday, so I haven't really played with them very much. But, uh, yeah. So, and then if, and if, if Carrie or somebody or will remind me toward the, you know, middle or, you know, cup in an hour or two. I, I want to make sure and do another giveaway with some of the stuff mom gave us. This is a thank you little die. And I, the reason I picked this is the magazine she gave me had the thank you die cutting thing, you know, uh, how to use it out of the card, the uh, card making paper craft magazine the uk one mom subscribes to it and so she gets these things that she doesn't use anything die cut so i'm gonna i have the like the inspiration sheet out of the magazine and the die so i'm gonna do, get, do a giveaway with that after a while so if y'all have any questions put them on caps of lid the color is on the lid oh okay above the paint the color this says Dilutions Paint. Oh, Post Box. It is red. Okay, that is the red. Looks much more orange to me. It's called Post Box Red. You know, and I have the sprays. I love the sprays. And I need to stock up on the... I don't have any of the newest color sprays. I need to get some of the newer color sprays. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Leah. I didn't, I didn't see that there. But yeah, it's kind of... There it is. Okay, so I got Post Box Red. Uh, is that fresh lime? Fresh lime. Bubblegum pink. And see, I got these in the sprays. Lemon zest and vibrant turquoise. So I want to get the, I don't know what they're called, dark green, dark blue, purple. So I want to get the other colors um, that, you know, I don't have. And they are fun. I like them. <clears throat> Post as get Didi, can I have a request for... Next time, I would love to see your collection of ATCs. Okay. Yes, Dasha, let me write that down. Okay. I, it has been a while. Now, I got to say, Dasha, they're older. <laughs> so, uh, look at ATCs. Okay, I wrote it down. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five books, just in books alone, not, not even including my own ATCs that I've made. But in swaps, I have four three-inch binders and one, I think it's a four-inch binder, it's this big. So, they're big, thick binders of ATCs. I've shown them before, but it has been a while. Maybe we could do that, too. I don't know. We'll see how far we get today. We'll see how far we get today. You know, how, how much lollygagging I do. Or how many rabbit trails we have. <laughs> Uh, are these new colors? They're, they're, this is new paints, Trina, but the colors themselves, they've been around in the sprays, you know, the inks, the spray ink bottles. <clears throat> but Michael's just started getting them. It, uh, the whole Dilutions range. Well, not every single thing, 
ranger. They didn't get, uh, I heard Paula say, was it Paula? Somebody said, I lose track of when I'm watching these, uh, everybody's videos, but somebody said that they will not be getting the distress crayons, the ranger Tim Holtz distress crayons. They won't be getting those in Michael's. But Xander had posted a couple weeks ago the different things that they are carrying in Michael's, the, the Dilusions paints, the, some more stamp, uh, stamps. They even had the little color book, which was 10 bucks. I, I couldn't do it. It's like a little pack of cards about this. Well, it's like this. It's a pack of cards this big with about 10, 15 packs. I don't know. I didn't buy it. And uh, But there's all a lot of Dino Reevely stuff.